third grade. I know when we were last at school, we were talking about fractions. So I just want to take a couple minutes here to kind of refresh your memories about fractions because I know it's been a little bit and that will really help you guys with your math work this week. <coughs> so there are a couple of definitions I want to talk to you about. So this is a fraction three fourths. This top number here is called the numerator. And the numerator names the parts of the whole that are being identified or counted. So the numerator is just a part. And then the form down here represents the denominator, which is the whole. So it names the total number of parts. And the way that I always remember that is that denominator starts with a D, which is down. So denominator goes down on the bottom, which is the whole thing. And then the numerator is on top, which is just the part that you're counting of the whole. So like if you look at this square here, three fourths are pink. So we have one, two, three that are colored in pink out of the four total. And then we can do the same thing for it to figure out how many are green, which fraction is shaded green. There's only one green out of all four total. So one fourth is green. Over here on the circle, we have two parts that are shaded pink. So we put a two on top and there are one, two, three, four parts of the whole. So a four goes on the bottom. So two fourths are pink. And if two fourths are pink, then we have how many greens? One, two greens out of the same four total. So two fourths are green. Now you can see fractions in a shape like this or even a triangle or a rectangle, but you can also see fractions represented on a number line. So we have here zero and one are the two whole number points. And then we have fractions in the middle. Um, this will be a picture that I, your parents can show you too, because it's probably kind of hard to see from where you are now. But this is one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. Now, you can know that because this is divided up into how many equal parts. Now we're going to pretend like these are equal because I didn't have a ruler. But we have one part here, two, three, four. So there are four parts. This line is one fourth. This one is one, two out of all four. This line is one, two, three out of all four pieces. And then we get to one, okay? Now unit fractions is another vocabulary word that you will need for this week. A unit fraction just names one part of the whole. For example, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth, and one third. Now, if you notice, all of these have one thing in common, and that's that the numerator, the number on top, is always going to be a one for your unit fractions. So our unit fraction for this would be one fourth, because it's naming one piece, and we have four total. And then there's one other super, super important part about fractions, is that they must always be equal parts. So you can see in this circle here, it's divided up into four parts again, and they're equal parts. Each piece of this little pie is going to be the same. So this would be an okay fraction to figure out. But this one here is also divided up into four parts, but all of these little pieces, they're not the same. So we can't call that, we, this wouldn't be a fraction because those parts are not equal. And then also the most important part of this is this up here that we really, really miss you and we love you and we can't wait to see you again. If you guys have any questions about any of this, about fractions and any of your work this week, feel free to shoot your teacher a message, have mom or dad ask us what's going on and we will get back to you as quick as we can. Um, otherwise, have a great week. Can't wait to see you soon.